Hi guys, it's Carissa, and this is a shameful. I kind of lost track of my empties, so I don't know if you can see, but this bag is almost full. I just keep this next to my garbage can, and when I'm out of something, it goes in there, and normally I look. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. Do you ever try to do something more quickly, and then you end up taking longer, because I'm scared that's gonna happen, but let me just, get started here. This is the Covered in My Hair um, Paul Mitchell Awa Pui Wild Ginger Keratin Intensive Treatment. I got this in a kit. I think there's another one in here actually. Yes. And then this is the, the Keratin Cream Rinse. These are both basically conditioners. Um, this is a really nice product. Um, the shower, the shower, the sh See, I'm trying to rush and I'm <laughs> not making sense. The shampoo is still in my shower because I use much less shampoo than I do conditioner, I always have, but um, these were nice. I don't know if I would buy them again. I think I just really like the way they smell when my hairdresser uses them on me. Burt's Bees Facial Towelettes, these are the white tea ones. Love those, there's always gonna be one of those. This is the Frederick Fakai Brilliant Glossing um, and Olive Oil Conditioner. This is a sample size. It looks like there's still quite a bit in there, but it's actually dry and won't come out. The Body Shop. This is a mini body butter that is grapefruit scented. Yes. I don't know why, but every now and then this smells really bad on me. I don't know if it's me and the way it interacts or um, if maybe the product's inconsistent. Sometimes it smells really sweet and wonderful and like grapefruit, and other times it smells like sadness. This. Oh, this, this little bugger. I can tell there's still product in here. This is the Kenra Platinum Intensive or Intense Repair Conditioner. Okay, I love Kenra products. I mostly only really use and splurge on this. This is the glossing, silkening gloss. It smells heavenly and it makes my hair look super nice and doesn't make it greasy. I wanted to see how this conditioner was and how it stacked up to the Biolage I always use. So I just got this little sample size and this is the worst packaging ever because the square, yeah, it looks cool. It looks sleek and different, but I cannot squeeze product out of this enough to cover my hair at least um, without really struggling. I actually pressed it against the shower wall like this and really crushed it to try and get conditioner out of it. But the truth is, it's not even that great a product in my opinion. At least my hair doesn't respond to it as well as what I already use, so done. Oh, this is a <laughs> this is a conditioner from the box color that I use. Um, the Garnier Olia, is that how you pronounce it? Olia? Uh, this is just the conditioner that you use in the shower when you rinse the product out. Sometimes I have some left over and instead of putting it on my hair again, I just use it to shave with. This is a sample size of the Living Proof Nourishing Style Cream. Yes, Nourishing Styling Cream. Um, this is okay. I liked it a lot. I liked it enough to buy a full size of it. Um, and it's really weird because ever since I got the full size, I feel like I don't like it as, as well. I don't know if maybe my hair was going through some stuff at the time and I don't know, but I just finished that up recently because I couldn't find my favorite hair product and I will do a video on that because that was an adventure, but I know that doesn't sound like it's any, <laughs> how non-adventurous is my life? that talking about trying to find a good, just, okay, there's a lot of little stuff in here. Oh, I just saw my beauty blender. It's all covered in cat hair. It's time to retire this because I haven't used it in quite a while. You are supposed to replace these, and I know you can do a good amount to them to clean them and disinfect them. You can boil them and all that stuff, but for like three weeks straight, my cat kept sneaking into my makeup room. I would find it in like the kitchen, on the floor, um, you know, I'd find it downstairs somehow and there's no reason why I would have it downstairs. So she took it out of here and played with it and that's actually awfully cute. It's kind of shaped like a toy mouse without a tail. Okay, this is a Dr. Hauschka Cleansing Cream. I try to get everything out of this that I possibly could. I love the way this makes my face feel. Um, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's basically a 
Gentle Daily Exfoliator. This is the little sample of the Coatsy Face SPF 40 Broad Spectrum Face Moisturizer. It's Tinted Natural Skin Tone Moisturizer. Um, then I got in my birch box and I was making fun of the packaging being ugly. This is really good stuff. I don't care what the packaging looks like. I like this. Okay, this is the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. This stuff was pretty nice. It's getting quite dry on me now, so it is time to say goodbye. This I also got in a birch box recently. This might be from my most recent one. This is the Marcel New Age Precision 8-in-1 Power Serum. I liked this stuff so much. I cut this sucker open to scrape every little bit out of it. Um, this is something I'd definitely consider purchasing. These are from my Alginist 10 day trial sample thing I got from Sephora. And this is the Alginist Genius Cream. I am in love with this cream. This is the Buxom sample of the Mudslide lip gloss that I talked about in a favorites video recently. While I'm talking about lip gloss, I have this Balm Shelter from The Balm. And this is the stuff that I talked about in a favorites video recently, I believe, I don't know, a couple of months ago or something when I said that it was sickening and it smelled like banana bread. I was pregnant at the time and didn't even realize it. Um, so that's why it made me gag so much. But I mean, now it doesn't make me gag, but I still don't care for it anymore. Um, it's just frankly not a very good lip gloss in my opinion. And um, at least it's not how I want a lip gloss to be when I put it on my lips. You know what I mean? So, I can't find anybody to give this away to. I'm just going to throw it away. I'm pretty sure that when I looked into returning it, the cost for resending it wasn't worth, it just wasn't worth it to return it. Um, cause they were going to charge me for shipping. This is not completely finished, but I can't, I can't spend another day with this on my face. I look ridiculous when I put this on. This is the Naked Skin Beauty Balm um, Broad Spectrum, Spectrum SPF 20. It has this smell. It's almost like melted mint chocolate chip ice cream. It smells really nice. The finish, okay, I don't know. I, I, maybe I don't get it. That stuff goes on my face and then just kind of vanishes in certain, oh, I, it's the Beauty Blender Thief. Apparently I was wrong about the Beauty Blender Thief because I just threw it on the ground and she didn't want it, which means it was my evil genius male cat. And I totally believe that he's the one who's been stealing it. I'm so sorry, Nermal, that he framed you. That stuff. Okay, back to, back to the, what is it? The Urban Decay BB Cream. It is way too orange, way too dark for my skin. It, somehow it fades like around my mouth and just... In strange places, it just kind of disappears and my skin looks orange and blotchy and sweaty because it creates this dewy finish that just won't quit and it doesn't matter what I put on it, if I use powder or any kind of setting. It's just, I'm not going to spend another day with that on my face. This is the Le Couvent Gardener's Hand Healer. This is just a sample size. I used to work at Bath & Body Works and women would actually fight over the last bottle of this when it was in the store. I do have a full size bottle on my nightstand. I do think it's a really good hand cream. Um, is it the best one that I've ever used? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think I. there is a best hand cream, but it's definitely, uh, what's the word? Effective. Is that the same word that I couldn't remember last time? That word. And finally, this is my Formula X base coat. This is the just regular base coat that comes in the kit. Uh, there's a nail cleanser, base coat, top coat, and then you can pick your own nail color and it's like $32 or something like that. Unfortunately, with really good nail products, as you may or may not know, it can tend to get down to the end and it's just not usable anymore. It's too thick, too gloppy, it won't, won't spread properly. That happens to me also with the Sashvi top coat, which I love so much. When you buy one of those, you know you're only getting like two thirds of the bottle's worth of product out of it because it starts to oxidize and it just affects the way the product works. And I'm okay with that. That's how the top coat is for this also because it just creates this thick, gorgeous glossy seal on your nails and this nail polish this nail system lasts forever on your nails and when I say forever I mean at least a week usually um, before you need to repaint your nails and you don't have to do anything crazy to take it off the way you do with gel kits it's just 
It's the best stuff ever, in my opinion. And I'm done with this. That is all my garbage, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or if I missed something or said something weird that you just need some more clarification on, let me know. And I'm going to go play with my chickens now. So everybody have a nice day. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I was totally going to throw this out because every time I used it, I hated it. And I just used it on my hair just now. And I really like it. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Your hair changed. Look, I've been on a lot of hormones. Who knows? You know, I've done a lot of coloring. The, who knows what happened all the times before that I tried to use this. And then suddenly today I love it. It's the Ojan Damage Reverse uh, Restorative Finishing Spray. And this is for, it says very dry damaged hair. And that is the reason why I wanted to try it. I bought this in a kit with a bunch of different sample sizes. Or maybe it only came with like a shampoo and conditioner. I didn't like the way they smelled. So when I was done with them, I was like, I'm not going to use them. Because they didn't, if, if they made my hair amazing, I wouldn't mind the way they smelled. But because they didn't smell great and my hair didn't feel great, I was like, whatever. I don't see the hype. Um, and this stuff never appealed to me. This bottle is, feels like it's almost full. I feel like every time I've used it in the past, I've been like, oh, I'm never going to use that stuff again. But it sat here on my hair stuff table and, well, cart, whatever forever and I just went through it recently when I was cleaning and I was like I'm not gonna use that stuff anymore put it in that bin just now I tried it again and I was like ooh